What's up, everybody? How we doing? We haven't seen you in a while, have we? How's everybody doing? I am fantastic. Thank you for asking. I can do this now because we're in quarantine. I can sit in my old boxes. Uh, so then, I've not seen you for a while, so I've not been filming. <coughs> Corona. Um, I've not been filming because I've been in the process of trying to find a gym. I actually found a gym that I was going to go to. It was a home gym. It was a private gym. And then obviously Boris has said we can't leave our houses now. So I didn't want to go film at that gym because it was someone else's gym. And I was going to film there if I could continue to go. Um, and I've just had a lot of uncertainty around where I'm going to be training. And now I'm going to be training at home. So I'm uh, going to make do. We've got, I've actually got a pretty decent garden here. I've got some things that I can work with. I've got some pegs just here that I can hang things off and we'll see what we can do. I've got pull today. I've actually got some plates, I've got a bar, barbell and I've got a dumbbell up to 60 kilos. Um, an adjustable dumbbell up to 60 kilos so we can and I can make that single arm row heavy so I've got a big heavy row, I've got a big bent over row. I can definitely make some pullovers over there. I can definitely do some occluded biceps. Also, <laughs> Literally the moment that Boris said, okay, we're going into full lockdown. Obviously it's not full lockdown, but I'm sure it'll be full lockdown in the next couple of days. Um, I bought a cable stack and also bought a T-bar row. <laughs> so I'm going to get 200 kilos worth of cable stack come over. Probably put it along here. And uh, with a cable stack, I feel like I can get everything done. And and, and very, very efficiently. Up uh, Pecs, easy. Back, easy could do a little bit of legs, we can make some extensions and curls and I've also brought a little bit of a squat rack so I can squat I'm going to get some weights up to 200 kilos I, I'm sure I can squat 200 kilos for enough reps to be able to get some good, good hypertrophy there so kicking off isn't it? It's all kicking off I hope you're all well we've got to remain positive um, I had a wobble in fact, I need to change the scene so I did actually have a little bit of a, a wobble when it first began and I thought, I'm not going to be able to train, what am I going to do? But where there's a will, there's a way. And where there's a way... So we're going to go ahead and do that. Working outside today. And I'll take you through it. I'm in a bit of a fucking mood. So we've gone for two bagels. Bacon sandwich. Half a pint of cranberry juice. There's about 40 carb in this. 90 carb in the bagels, about 30 grams of protein in the in the uh, bacon, probably not enough, but I'll catch up with that protein later. I'm going to carry on eating as normal. I'm pretty confident I'm going to continue to progress. I'm probably, probably going to pull down to a cruise. It's kind of annoying. I did have like six, seven weeks left of this blast, but if we can't be optimal, probably have to pull down, but I'm awaiting the orders from the boss man and we will see. I've been led out on this sofa for the last half an hour. Sunlight is incredible. Circadian rhythm, sunlight. Oh, it feels good. live streaming this for those of you guys and they can't even see it on the screen can they uh, I've managed to just put something together we've got a little bit of a barbell here we've got 60 kilo dumbbells over there and I've managed to make a cuff to pull over so we're gonna go ahead and see exactly how we're gonna train back today let's do it <laughs> Muy guapa, tu sonrisa y tu mirada 
you can see, I put failure on both of the first exercises. You know, with the uh, with the cuff pullover right here, you can keep the the because I've got like a little bit of a veranda type. I mean, what do you even call this veranda? It's not big enough for a veranda, right? It's just a little bit of raised platform. Pulled the bench to the furthest part to create some more tension in the band. Got to failure at nine. Moved the bench in six inches, probably wasn't enough. Only got 11. So I'm, you know, I'm failing on those first two sets there. And then coming on to the, the single arm row, um, I'm failing there in a 12 rep range. I mean, that's more than enough. I just worked that up, worked that up. Um, I'm gonna do a second set now of 60 kilos as well. Um, and then we'll move on to some barbell stuff for the upper, upper body. We've still got biceps that we can hit as well with our occlusion band, so there's a lot we can do here for back anyway. So I've successfully made like a chest supported, so I'll go here, like this, led across here, hands come down, onto here we're pulling directly up with the elbows out. I attach these D handles here because they're going to give me an extra little bit of room and I can get that, and I can get that full range of motion pretty easily. Um, so I'm going to do three sets of this. One set on 60 kilograms, two sets on 60 kilograms, one set on 40 kilograms. The reason is I haven't got enough flexibility and weights right now, so I just want to overload, but it feels really fucking good. I feel like I've worked my back very well today, so that makes me excited. <laughs> So you guys will know my lap finder, where we have the D handles um, on the lap pull downs. We put them over and we drive our elbows forward. Well, I've managed to stick a, a daisy chain and a D handle to that. I'm gonna lie almost flat here. I'm gonna bring my elbows down, see what we can do. I'm into that position. Ideally, I'll probably pull this chair back a little bit more, but bring my elbows forward. And down into that pocket. Now we know the lat actually gets a little bit weaker as you get shorter. It's much stronger here, which is why this will be easier. But obviously, the tension of this band gets heavier when you get weaker. So by resting in that lengthened position, we can add a little bit more tax there and kind of reach failure a bit earlier. I've been having these lately. They're like thicker waffles with like honey on top. Absolutely incredible. We've also got the new puppy up, the iMac. Very nice. But I slowly realized that there's not much to do in quarantine and I'm not gonna be able to make a video in one day. <laughs> so we're gonna go over a couple of days. I thought I'd show you what I ordered. So as soon as Boris pretty much let me know I can't go to a fucking gym uh, I bought this thing which is pretty fucking good if you ask me uh, So this is A closed cable stack uh, So here I can do pullovers, I can do pull ups, I can weight them, I can do dips on here I can also do chest press with the dumb, with the D handles I can also do flies, I can also do downward flies I can also do single arm pull downs I can also do single arm rows. I can attach a few things here to, to make it even more uh, accessible to pretty much everything. And I'm pretty sure I can grow well off that. I can attach a bar to do stiff legs, things like that. Um, however, I did pay 1300 pound for it. <laughs> and I also bought a T-bar row because I thought it'd be nice to get a little bit of a T-bar row in there, wouldn't it? Uh, the T-bar row is 400, 500. So I spent 1800 pound on this. My thought process was, I'm buying it brand new, so I can probably sell it at like maybe 10 or 20% off. And I think if this lasts a couple months, it's well worth it. A couple hundred quid uh, would be what I lose. So it'd be like me paying a couple hundred quid for those few months, which for me like, is it's, it's bearable. Um, I might not, sell it, I might open a gym instead, 
Um, I do know these cables are actually really good. I've used these cables a few times and they're pretty decent. So a body max functional trainer with dual adjustable pulley should be coming to my house in the next week. I'm actually in contact with them right now. It says, it says two minute waiting time until they're going to talk to me. So we'll see if my orders have been cancelled or not during this madness. Ven pa' acá, muchacho guapo, ven pa' acá Ay, ven pa' acá, muchacho guapo, ven pa' acá Ay, ven pa' acá, muchacho guapo, ven pa' acá The squat rack. Fantastic. I will build this tomorrow for squats. I should do it today. Maybe I'll do it today. So guys, I'm gonna end this. I'm just giving you a little bit of update of what I'm gonna do in my plan. So obviously, as you guys know, I was on a blast um, where I was pushing super physiological levels of drugs, um, where I was pushing super physiological levels of that there, that there testosterone. Um, I'm now gonna come back down to a modified cruise, so slightly higher than the typical TRT dose, um, just to kind of maintain this muscle mass during this period while I get my, my equipment together. I'm probably gonna run this for about eight weeks until, probably, probably in, probably gonna run this for eight to 12 weeks and then go down to a normal TRT dosage um, for the foreseeable future or to the back end of the year. Uh, with my physique, I'm going to hold here now for the next three or four weeks. There's not much we can do with the limited equipment, so we just make do with what we can do. Um, and then we're going to go into a little bit of a tidy up phase, so like eight weeks where we'll mini cut, we'll get pretty lean, um, push quite hard, and then and then we'll be able to reverse diet back out of that into a final push for the year before we compete. So, you know, we're starting to plan that far ahead now, we're looking at prepping in, in February time. So this year is going to go quick if this Corona stif stuff sticks around. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. Uh, I'm building my gym at the moment. So you can see we've got the, got the squat rack, we've got the other stuff over there. So there's, there's, a, there's some stuff we've got to do to make this perfect. Um, and also putting it away every night is going to be a ball ache, but we'll see how we get on. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you soon. Peace.